Uh, this is Paul, yeah. You know, I'm sitting down here, you know, and uh, I thought I should call you. Yeah. You know what, I notice there's a lot of Wi-Fi's available, but I don't have the password to them. Yes. Could you go through and get the passwords to every Wi-Fi? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know the passwords. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know a lot of these password protected, <laughs> you know, around here, <laughs> where you don't know the password to their Wi-Fi. Right. <laughs> but I was thinking that somebody was taking my phone without my knowledge. <laughs> now, wouldn't you think that if you took my phone so you could see what I'm saying when I'm talking into this camera, <laughs> that I have the right to have your password? Right. <laughs> Did... Oh, it's not a reverse hacking, okay. You decided you were going to use your internet to access my phone. Po, 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 po. <laughs> you have the password to, to your internet. <laughs> So that you can see what I'm saying on my phone because you used your internet, your password protected internet access, you know, to find out what I was saying. So, now I think I have the right to know the password of every person that's ever seen what I've been saying when I've been using this phone. My phone actually, it was a gift. I don't have to give it back. You know one of the legal ways that you can receive something? <laughs> What's that? Somebody can give it to you. A lot of people think, well, it's more phone it must be worth twenty five thirty dollars <laughs> then they'd want to say well did you pay taxes on that <laughs> now I know okay I want to get the Wi-Fi of every person in Port Angeles <laughs> that has or has not seen me while I've been recording something yes <laughs> and uh, I noticed these HP printers seem to be pretty powerful did you know it seemed like you could have a printer in the back of the building and it would have um, some sort of Wi-Fi access to a cell phone. Yeah. Could you get me all the connected equipment to every Wi-Fi protected internet <laughs> everywhere in the city? In fact, for all those travelers that bury their DSL connections or <laughs> they have buried electricity or <laughs> they had buried the pipes that go to their plumbing, yes, I just wanted all their passwords too I kind of like to know where they've been surfing <laughs> I know you're not home right now <laughs> your internet's not on there's no possible way that your internet provider would actually know where <laughs> you know the nice part about not having to really be on anybody <laughs> is every person usually has their own their own expense to be uh, on the internet <laughs> Now, I need to know all the internet providers of all the top secret fish vampires that decided they were going to have a witch coven meeting in Port Angeles. <laughs> I just wanted to know every website that you've been to for the last 20 years. Super top secret witch covens of those that are vampire fish. Are you shedding? Sweating? What happens when a vampire sweats? That reminds me, I was thinking about Heidi. She had this, this sweat that smelled like cat piss. And she said, well, this smells like cat urine. And I'm looking at her like, I wonder why that's happening. You know, it'd be nice to have the armpits of every vampire fish that <laughs> thought they were a cat. <laughs> Maybe we could sweat them when they get home. <laughs> it'd be nice to load up their <laughs> residences while we went to the top secret vampire witch coven for those that have been catted. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
and they get home and all of a sudden they begin to sweat and <laughs> their urine smells like cat urine or their sweat smells like cat urine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if we changed the actual broadband that they've been using to do their top secret fish bat sonar types of communications? <laughs> You get home and all of a sudden, well, let's think of something we could put in their broadband for them when they get. <laughs> A little surprise, something for when you get home. <laughs>